Yo, what's up guys and welcome to episode 3 of 0 to 2 million in 7 days. So this is day 3 of the um, 7 day challenge. I guess we're just under halfway through and it is looking extremely promising now. Hey you! Would you like some cheap and reliable coins? Well don't worry, because I've got you a place. Make sure to head over to thiefacoinzonehotswazlad.com and use the discount code FLAIR for 2% off. Now. Or, what you could do, which is a little bit more reasonable, is use your Amazon Prime or 4 99 subscription over on my Twitch channel. Now you may ask, why would you want to do that? That's a pretty good question. I've got you sorted. Basically, you get a daily trading guide. And what if I've got some questions? Twitter, Twitter DM, Twitch DM, email, business email, you name it. Thanks for watching, and make sure to enjoy the video. Now, I'd probably say I'm going to be on about 700k, probably maybe even up to 800, 900k once all these silver sell on. Uh, and what we're doing today is we're going to be selling on the silvers we bought yesterday. Now, they don't seem to be too flooded from yesterday, which means they've rebounded really, really fast, which uh, obviously works heavily in my favour. And, um, yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing. And then we're just going to be picking up even more silver deals because, as I say, there's still lots of people doing the market matchups, which means they're flooding these deals on the market for cheap. But uh, they're still going for a lot of money because they're flooded, but there seems to be enough demand that they really haven't dropped much from their normal going rate. So, again, what we've done right here is we've gone and listed up all the players we bought. We're selling them on a relatively lazy buyer-esque scheme. Like, we're not selling them for their cheapest, because obviously I might have 3-4 of a card, which means I'll just be undercut myself every time. So I'm selling them for what I know they'll go for. You know, these have got for 3.2, we're selling for 5.2, and uh, and so on and so on. So you'll see them, basically my coins go up throughout the course of the today. We're selling them on. So I just bought you through a few of these cards. I'm going for 1k and under, sell for 2.2. Got each one of these 1.5k and under, and sell them for 2.5 and 3k. And I literally just bought this guy this morning for 2.5k. Showing that, again, there's still lots of people listing up deals. And, uh, you know, we sold him, for, bought him for 1.5 and sold him for 2.5. And uh, that is it. So what we'll do is I'm probably going to do a little bit of silver trading. And then I'll join you, I guess, when I show you some of the deals we managed to pick up. So give you guys a little update what we've been doing with a bit of silver trading. As always, we've been going through the, uh, kind of, I guess, the list one by one by one. Trying to see if we can get ourselves any deals. A few deals I managed to pick myself up are... Uh, these guys all here for 1k and under, uh, which is decent as they're about 2.2 normally. And I picked up three of this guy for 4.5k and under. And again, this guy's pretty decent because he's normally about a 6k player. As you can see right there, a bunch up there for 6.5k. Therefore, 4.5k and under is going to give me 2k a player. Got this guy for 2k, should be able to flip him for 3k. Got this guy for 1.3k and should be able to flip him over for about 2.2k. Uh, head over to the club because I've got a few cards where there was only one deal of each. Uh, I don't know if there's a way of me looking at... Let's have a look. There you go. Mo newest cards. So, managed to win this guy right here for 4.5. Should be able to send for 5, 5 to 6k. Got another one of him, as I said. Uh, got a striker matey right here for... Got three of him for 2k and under. Should be able to send them for 3k. And uh, about, I think that's about it. So we haven't managed to do too much because my internet decided to drop. Uh, cheers, BT. So what we've done is we've done the first two SBCs on the old Marky matchups. We've got an Electrum Pack and a Prime Electrum Pack. Going to give us um, just a bunch of silvers and golds. So this SBC really didn't cost anything whatsoever. I got this guy for 500. Got this guy for 500. Got both the Catch Ray Centre Backs for 4 and 450. Uh, that's called a goalkeeper. And 400. And then the rest of these guys cost me 350 coins or 400. So yeah, that was a really good value for money. Prime Electrum Pack. And then we went and did the old, uh, the old Bayern Munich Dortmund uh, derby. And uh, again, this one was really cheap. Every single gold was uh, no more than 400 coins. And uh, these two guys were only... 800 coins so not actually too amazing the electron pack but luckily there's loads of expensive silvers that can clutch up the um the uh you know the not many amount of rares to say the least so let's go and open up these and then we've got five minutes till the uh the new sbc slash maybe new objective for which there might be money to be made on uh obviously no boards not even a war code it gets a Pereira. in that pack again mainly we're looking for league sbc players a bit like yesterday's packs what do we manage to get we managed to get you who can be used for league sbc we get you who can be used for league sbc you oh they all can Brilliant. I don't know if any of these do sell on. Oh, we got the uh, Russian left back, which of course we made a absolute bank on yesterday. So I definitely made sure to sell him on. But um, yeah, brilliant. A few, uh, a few silvers of value. Let's move on to the next one, which is the uh, Prime Electrum. So of course, half of them are going to be rare. Six golds, six silvers. Can we at least get boards in this? We don't. These are, I, I always hope we get boards in these. We get Christian Pulisic. What's that? Like a 79 rated card, 80 rated being tops. Yikes. 79 rated was Right. Uh, this guy's using League SBCs. And then the, uh, the rest of them is uh, not too amazing. So we've gone and completed two SBCs in the couch way. Just while waiting, because we've got four minutes now until uh, upgrades. So uh, I thought we'd do a few SBCs. Um, not upgrades, sorry. Weekly objectives. And obviously there might be a few coins on weekly objectives. Because apparently there are two foot swap players leaked. Now the SBCs we've done is Roma, sorry, Milan and Napoli. Um, yeah, Milan wasn't too expensive. Even bear in mind they have a, uh, what's it, team in the marquee matchups. 
Still not too expensive. I think probably under 7k for a um, rare election pack. Brilliant, which is half a 50k pack and six rare silvers. And then we head over to Napoli, which again is not too expensive. I think Fabian at 1.5k is the most expensive. Probably was no more than 7, 8k. And we go and get ourselves a 45k pack. So we'll open these relatively swiftly because again in... Just under three minutes time now, we do manage to get ourselves uh, new weekly objectives. Pack number one is not of boards, which was a 45k pack. It was uh, everyone's favourite man, Giroud. Hopefully we do get ourselves an English player in here, because they're going for a bit of money right now. We get one English player, brilliant, so I think it goes for about 2k right now. But yeah, not overly amazing with the rest. And moving on to the next right now. I actually didn't check for Russian new players as well. And now we got about... Two minutes till the SBC, so let's if we're well, not we sorry, weekly objectives again. Pan number two is gonna be a boards. Nice. It's gonna be a gold. It's gonna be Spanish. It's gonna be a cam. It's a Sarabia. Brilliant. It's the lowest rated boards we could get. Still worth about 1.6k nonetheless, which is bad. Can we get some expensive silvers, Russians, or English players? We actually get wow, 383s, that's a solid. Uh he's good for the league SBC. He's okay for the league SBC, but it wasn't actually a bad pack. 383s is um, yeah, pretty decent. I think it's about 4k in itself. Okay, so we've got about 20 seconds now before the weekly objectives. Again, we're looking for like plays to score with or full teams, and then we're going to go and best off the back of that. We've got th right about you know 300k and 330k to work with, so we've got a bit of money. So we'll back out in a sec, and we'll see what the brand new objectives. Again, I'm really only expecting it to be around foot swap players. So, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too amazing. Weekly objectives. There you go. New ones. All right, so the new weekly objectives are looking like... Uh, score using three Colombian players and separate rivals wins. So look at Colombian strikers right there, because that's online. Win seven matches by two goals, obviously nothing to work with right there. Play 13 online matches, nothing to work with right there. Draft token, no one cares about that. Uh, no one cares about that. Scoring five separate rival wins, okay, no one cares about that. Okay, so we're looking at Colombian attackers, really. It's not overly, it's not too hard in all fairness, because it's not win. Oh no, it is wins, okay. So let's have a look at what Colombian strikers we're looking at then. So Nation, Colombia. I think we recently we looked at this one and it isn't too mad. I think I might look at Muriel. Um, or I might look at special cards, to be honest. So strikers, strikers, strikers. Obviously, we're using Footbin right here. Uh, I think I might look at... I don't know. Let's have a look at the, the informs. Look at most expensive players, I guess. Hmm. This guy you don't really want to be working with. I guess you have inform Muriel. But he's, he's not too mad. Where is he? Oh, there isn't an inform Muriel. No, there is. He's a left wing card. Oh, you know, I'm going to go with one torch Muriel. I'm going to take a bit of a punt just because his inform card is a left wing. So, and I think not too many people actually be looking for this one torch Muriel. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with a bit of a punt with it. See what he's going for right now. Oh, he's already inflated. 21k. <sighs> we'll take the punt with it. But yeah, I don't know if it's too amazing. Uh, we'll buy them and then obviously we'll feedback on how well this goes. But, um, yeah, let's go and put our money all on Muriel's, and then we'll see in a sec if they rise. Again, I don't really do too much trading with this, so I, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. So, as you would have seen, uh, the Muriel's I wasn't too confident on, and oh my god, have they banged. So, I'll show you what we've sold them for. Got a little bit panicky when they're 29, and I was like, well, I'll take 10k a card. And as you'll see, they've been slightly progressive, to say the least. We sold the first for 29, then for 30, 35. And I'd say all of these were bought for 20k and under, as you can see they bang, and then look at this. 39, like 40k, 39, 37, 38. Yeah, now we've got these two selling on for uh, these sort of prices. So yeah, it's been absolutely insane. Now, let's say we make an average of 15k per one. What have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14, 15s, whatever that is, because A level maths has been failed on this one. Uh, that is a lot. That's decent. You know, that's some good, good money. I think it's probably, what, 250k or something like that? Two, 300k on the Muriels. So, see, that's uh, going to contribute towards a lot of coins today. 225k, someone says. So, yeah, that's absolutely amazing. We're we'll doing a little bit of silver trading on the back of this. But, yeah, an absolutely amazing way of making a few coins on top of a few of the SBCs. So, yeah, I'll probably do a few, a little bit of silver trading, show you a bunch of deals I get, and uh, then we'll end off the uh, episode. So, we're uh, trying a little sniping field right now. The old Colombians worth a bit off, off the back of selling a bunch of Muriels. And we've just got Muriel. And what we're doing is we're just scrolling to the end right here. And keep just going compare price back out and, uh, you know, just basically going attackers. I'll show you the search filter right here. So, the search filter we are running right now is... Fucking back out. Is forwards, uh, 10k minimum by now, 35k max. And I'm basically looking to get any of the Colombian uh, attackers. You know, we've got like Zapata who can pop under here. We've got Falcao's UCL. And, uh, of course, any of the other guys for, let's say, 15k. You know, one of these 
plebs. And uh, obviously, we just won ourselves a Muria right there for 18k. Now, Muria, by the looks of things, going rate is about, what, around about 37k right now. So, we have generally flipped about 17, 16, 17k. I'm not one to snipe because I always think sniping takes low market knowledge. And when it takes low market knowledge, you're competing against so many people. But, yeah, I'm probably going to flip them right here for 35k. And, um... Yeah, it's a really, really decent flip, so happy days. Uh, what we'll do is I'll show you if we win any other flip or any other snipes. Here we go, so we got ourselves another deal with me, real 22k. I think he's only going for about 24 now, so not 24, sorry, 34. He keeps going down and down and down. Seems to be crashing, um, yeah, crashing down in price quite a lot, to be honest. Uh, move over forward to counter trade. Let's see what he's actually going for them. So yeah, I think he's about 34 because he just keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. There we go. So we're probably trying to go 33.5. Mm, even that's a little bit. Look at this. Like, how is... Oh, that's insane. They're, they're being dropped. Like, he's... Wow. We'll take 33, but... That's insane how much they're dropping. But there you go. Another deal. We're going to make ourselves hopefully about 10k on that guy. So, because he's dropping at a very fast rate right now, we're going to be playing it a little bit safer every time. So, we've got this one for 27. We're selling for 32. At the end of the day, we're probably only going to make about 3.5k after tax. But again, we're playing it a little bit safer because he is dropping at a very, very fast rate at the moment. So... But yeah, so it, it means that there's quite a lot of deals coming out because I guess people are panicking loads. Obviously, that's not going to be sitting on the market. But uh, there you go. We also sell that pretty fast. So not bad. On to the uh, next. So we've just gone and got ourselves another Muriel for 15.5k. And we are going to be listing him up right here for 33k. Again, it is absolutely amazing. I've never I never won for sniping because I think it's way too... You know, it doesn't really take skill. You know, if, like, if you know the players you're going to snipe, any pleb can just sit there and spam players. But I actually have never had so much success with sniping this year. So... That's absolutely amazing. Like, in no time frame, we must have made, like, 50k for sniping. So, we're going to keep doing it again. All we're doing is special. By the time this video comes out, this will actually still be active. Uh, probably, I'd imagine Muriel will drop a little bit more because they just keep dropping and dropping and dropping. But it's absolutely amazing. Like, I generally have never had so much good luck on um, on sniping. But, of course, you'll uh, see when we get the next deal. So, we are going to call it the end of the episode for day three. We're probably sitting on just over a million, which is uh, decent because, um, you know, we've still got, like, a few days left. I come to that conclusion off of having quite a lot of expensive silvers. Uh, to end off today, I did go and pick up some expensive silvers. I think I can scroll to the end to show you what we managed to get. Uh, we managed to get... I believe these players going for 1.1k. Got all these for 1k and under. Um, got him for 4.5k and under. Got him again. I think it starts from here for 1 under. Got all these for 1.2k and under. Got these two for under 1.5k. Uh, got him for 1.3k. Him for 1k. Again, all these for 1k and under. And both of them for 700 coins and under. So that does wrap it up. Again, it's been a really good day. Again, yesterday we had our... What is it? The Russians who did well. And today we have Muriel who did well. So hopefully we'll uh, have stuff that does well tomorrow. And again, a little bit more silver training. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, do make sure to drop a like if uh, you enjoyed it. And uh, would like to see more, I guess. Thank you again once again for the support in the series. And uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow with more trading. And uh, SPCs and episode 4 of 0 to 2 million in 7 days.